intellectual disability and scientific research, from diagnosis to treatment. What treatments are possible and what research is being done? Today, we do not know how to cure intellectual disability yet. Nevertheless, therapeutic approaches can improve the development of cognitive and adaptive skills, treat disorders and symptoms, and improve overall quality of life. While it is still very difficult to act directly on the genetic anomaly and the cellular mechanisms involved, scientific knowledge has led to new therapeutic avenues. Gene therapy consists in using a virus to introduce a gene fragment into the cell. This gene fragment is designed to replace the defective gene and correct the genome. However, the brain cells, neurons, are very difficult to reach because they are carefully protected and lie inside the skull. Gene therapy is therefore not yet an accessible therapy for neurodevelopmental conditions and is only being tested in a few isolated cases. For several genetic diseases that affect the cell's metabolism, there are specific treatments that can improve or restore cell metabolism. Such treatments include a diet low on certain amino acids, or ketogenic diet rich in fat with non-synthesized vitamins, such as biotin or thiamine, or by providing a missing enzyme with enzyme therapy. Early diagnosis and treatment of the disease are therefore essential to limit its impact. For other diseases, it is known that the defective gene has a cascading effect on brain activity, with a disruption of the molecular pathways involved. For example, in Bourneville syndrome, which often includes intellectual disability, severe epilepsy, as well as affects many organs, it is now known as a disorder of the mTOR molecular pathway, involved in the onset of symptoms. Several drugs blocking the mTOR pathway have been developed and have shown their ability to improve certain symptoms. Another example is Fragile X syndrome in which there is a disruption of the GABA and glutamine molecular pathways, which are important for the communication between neurons. This disruption explains many of the symptoms of Fragile X, anxiety, hypersensitivity, hyperactivity, and epileptic seizures. Many studies have considered therapeutic approaches for Fragile X syndrome, with many drugs being tested, but overall none have been effective. This shows the great difficulty associated with clinical trials in the field of neurodevelopment. In all cases, therapy aims to limit disease progression and treat as many symptoms as possible. Depending on the individual's situation, tailored drug treatments, also called precision medicine, and non-drug approaches can be recommended. It is important to note that because people with intellectual disabilities have difficulty expressing themselves, the interpretation of symptoms is complex. For example, an abnormal behavior should not systematically be qualified as a psychiatric disorder because it may reveal undetected pain. A complete medical examination must be carried out with the prescription of an appropriate treatment. When necessary, the drugs that are used are those usually prescribed, tailoring them to the individual's particular situation and to what is known about the genetic disease or syndrome. In addition, drug-free measures can be offered to the patients from an early age and throughout life to help the person live a better life. It may be one or a combination of rehabilitation measures, personalized educational support, more recently developed cognitive remediation programs. In cognitive remediation therapy, an objective has to be defined for each measure of support. The therapist will help the person to mobilize their preserved capacities and to develop specific strategies that will allow them to bypass limitations 
and interact with the environment in a more appropriate way. Current research focuses heavily on the development of programs for learning disabilities, lack of independence, behavioral disorders or social adjustment difficulties. By better understanding the cognitive and behavioral profiles of each syndrome, neuropsychology makes it possible to improve therapeutic support. These non-drug approaches are not a cure, but they aim to improve quality of life and to support each patient's personal goals. Today's therapeutic strategies use the most recent knowledge in all fields, neurodevelopment, genetics, pharmacology, neuroscience, educational sciences. Together, let's make scientific progress.